Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk MS. You may remember a few months ago, um, I did a video on different drugs that people are taking and how important it is to always make sure you do the research about the drug or medication that is prescribed to you. Um, also to make sure it's not going to have any interaction with any other medications you're taking. Uh, you really rely on your family doctor or your specialist to be aware that there is no interaction or that the medication you are taking are safe, but you can never be too sure, um, which leads me to today's video. So this week, I actually came across an article um, and did some more research on oxybutynin, which if you remember is the drug that I used to take for my bladder. Um, it wasn't really working for me, so they switched to something else. So basically what this article was talking about is a study that was done on oxybutynin. And urologists are actually urging uh, other physicians to please stop giving this prescription to patients completely altogether. And the reason why is because they are almost positive that oxybutynin can lead to dementia in the older generation. The study that they did uh, was among 3,400 people 65 or over, which makes sense because that's normally an age, um, especially in the older generation where you'll see bladder issues coming up. So you'd be prescribed something like that. So out of those 3,400 people, those that were taking a drug like oxybutynin for three or more years were 54% more likely to develop dementia later on in life. That is an extremely high number in my eyes. 54% can develop dementia. They say that the oxybutynin is a smaller molecule, um, so it actually penetrates the, uh, the brain um, a lot faster than I guess any other similar drug would. Um, when you read stuff like this, especially when you've been on a drug like that, um, it's very scary to think that there are still doctors out there who are prescribing these drugs knowing that there are better options out there and especially when you are at that 65 or older age, you have to be so careful with your health and so careful with the medications you take. You really rely on your doctors to give you that knowledge and to make sure that they are prescribing you something safe, um, not something that's going to hurt you in the long run. As I've said before, um, especially drugs that haven't been on the market that long, you really don't know what the long-term effects are going to be. You just hope that there's nothing in the future and that it's not going to affect you in a negative way. But when you have something like oxybutynin where it's been on the market for a long time, lots of people are using it. They've done this study on 30 400 people and you're seeing 54% are more than likely to develop dementia, that is a scary, scary thought. And, um, you know, as I talked about months ago, there are many other drugs out there that you really should be researching before you take because they also can lead to uh, dementia after long-term use. So I really just wanted to share that with everyone. Um, please always make sure that you do your own research when you're prescribed a new medication because it might not be the one for you. And if you are very unsure about taking it, please talk to your family doctor or your specialist. You'd rather be safe than sorry. So thank you for watching today's video and I will see everybody next week.